Hello everyone, and welcome back to our channel. Today, we have an essential topic to discuss. Adverse events following immunization, or AEFI. Vaccines are crucial in protecting us from various diseases, but it's equally important to understand potential side effects. So, let's dive into this topic and dispel any misconceptions. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to stay informed about our future content. Now, let's get started. What is AEFI? AEFI stands for Adverse Events Following Immunization. It refers to any undesirable health outcome experienced by an individual after receiving a vaccine. These events can range from mild reactions, such as local pain or swelling at the injection site, to rare, more serious side effects. It's important to note that most AEFI are mild and temporary, and vaccines undergo thorough testing to ensure their safety and efficacy before approval for public use. Prompt reporting of AEFI is essential to monitor vaccine safety and maintain public health. What are the different types of AEFI? Adverse events following immunization AEFI, can be categorized into different types based on the nature and location of the reactions. The main types of AEFI include Local reactions These reactions occur at the site of vaccine administration and are usually mild and short-lived. They may include redness, swelling and pain at the injection site. Systemic reactions. These reactions affect the entire body and are more widespread. They can occur within a few hours to a few days after vaccination and may include fever, fatigue, headache, muscle pain, nausea and vomiting. Allergic reactions. In rare cases, some individuals may experience allergic reactions to vaccine components. These reactions can range from mild to severe and may include mild allergic reaction, itchy skin, hives or mild swelling and anaphylaxis, a severe and potentially life-threatening allergic reaction. It's essential to remember that the vast majority of AEFI are mild and temporary. Severe reactions are very rare, and vaccines undergo extensive testing to ensure their safety and effectiveness before they are approved for use in the general population. What are common AEFIs and how are they managed? Common AEFI include local reactions, redness, swelling and pain at injection site, system reactions, fever, fatigue, headache, muscle pain and nausea, and mild allergic reactions, itchy skin, hives and mild swelling. In general, mostly common AEFIs are mild and resolve on their own without any specific medical intervention. What are rare and serious AEFIs and how they are managed? Rare and serious adverse events following immunization AEFI, are uncommon but can occur in some individuals. These severe reactions may require immediate medical attention and specialized treatment. Some examples of rare and serious AEFI include Anaphylaxis Anaphylaxis is a severe allergic reaction that can occur within minutes to hours after vaccination. It is potentially life-threatening and requires urgent medical attention. Symptoms may include difficulty breathing, swelling of the face or throat, rapid heartbeat, and low blood pressure. Treatment for anaphylaxis typically involves the administration of epinephrine, adrenaline, through an auto-injector and immediate transfer to an emergency medical facility. Guillain-Barre syndrome, GBS, GBS is a rare neurological disorder that can occur after certain vaccinations. It causes muscle weakness and, in severe cases, paralysis. Treatment for GBS often involves hospitalization, supportive care, and therapies to manage symptoms and promote recovery. Thrombosis with thrombocytopenia syndrome, TTS. TTS is an extremely rare side effect associated with some vaccines that use viral vector technology. It involves blood clot formation and low platelet counts. If suspected, individuals should seek immediate medical attention for assessment and treatment. Intussusception. This is a rare complication associated with certain oral rotavirus vaccines. It involves a part of the intestine folding into itself, causing a blockage. Treatment may involve repositioning the intestine manually or, in severe cases, surgical intervention. It's important to emphasize that while these severe AEFI can occur, they are extremely rare. Vaccines undergo extensive testing in clinical trials to ensure their safety and efficacy, and the vaccination in preventing diseases are far more beneficial than its risks. If you or someone else experiences any concerning symptoms or reactions after vaccination, seek immediate medical attention. Reporting a EFI to healthcare providers and relevant vaccine safety monitoring systems is crucial to enhance public health and further improve vaccine safety. How reporting of AEFI is done. Reporting of adverse events following immunization, AEFI, 
is an essential process that helps monitor vaccine safety and ensure public health. The procedure for reporting a EFI varies from country to country, but there are typically several ways to report. Healthcare provider. If you experience any adverse reactions after vaccination, inform your healthcare provider immediately. They will document the details of the event and may report it to the appropriate health authorities. Vaccine Adverse Event Reporting System VAERS, Many countries have established national or regional systems specifically designed for reporting AEFI. These systems allow individuals, healthcare providers, or vaccine manufacturers to submit reports online, by phone, or through specific forms. VAERS enables health authorities to gather data on adverse events, investigate potential safety concerns, and take appropriate actions if necessary. Mobile Apps and Online Platforms some countries have introduced mobile applications or online platforms that allow individuals to report AEFI directly. These apps typically provide a user-friendly interface for reporting and may also provide information on common vaccine side effects and safety guidelines. Vaccine Manufacturer In some instances, individuals or healthcare providers may report AEFI directly to the vaccine manufacturer. Manufacturers are required to track and investigate adverse events related to their vaccines. Healthcare institutions, hospitals, clinics, and other healthcare facilities may have internal systems for reporting AEFI to the appropriate health authorities. When reporting AEFI, it is crucial to provide as much detail as possible, including the type of vaccine received, the date of vaccination, the specific adverse event experienced, and any relevant medical history. Reporting AEFI is essential for ongoing monitoring of vaccine safety. It allows health authorities to identify any rare or unexpected side effects, take necessary precautions, and ensure that vaccines continue to be safe and effective for the population. If you experience any concerning symptoms after vaccination, do not hesitate to report them to the appropriate channels to contribute to public health efforts. What are the common myths about AEFI with clarifications? Common myths about adverse events following immunization AEFI, can lead to misinformation and vaccine hesitancy. Let's clarify these myths. Myth 1. Vaccines cause more harm than the diseases they prevent. Clarification. Vaccines are extensively tested for safety and efficacy before approval. The benefits of vaccination in preventing dangerous and potentially deadly diseases far outweigh the risks of AEFI, which are usually mild and temporary. Myth 2. All adverse reactions to vaccines are severe and common. Clarification. Most AEFI are mild and self-limiting, such as local pain or mild fever. Severe reactions are rare and occur in a very small percentage of vaccinated individuals. Myth 3. Vaccines can cause autism. Clarification. Extensive scientific research has consistently shown no link between vaccines and autism. The original study that suggested this link has been debunked and retracted. Myth 4. Vaccines contain harmful ingredients that can damage health. Clarification. Vaccines undergo rigorous testing to ensure they are safe. Trace amounts of certain ingredients, such as preservatives or adjuvants, are used to improve vaccine efficacy and safety. These ingredients are present in tiny, safe amounts and are thoroughly evaluated by regulatory authorities. Myth 5. Vaccines can alter DNA or cause genetic mutations. Clarification. Traditional vaccines, such as those using inactivated viruses or protein subunits, do not alter DNA. mRNA vaccines, like the COVID-19 vaccines, do not integrate into the DNA. They provide instructions to the cells to produce a harmless piece of the virus for the immune system to recognize. Myth 6. Natural immunity is better than vaccine-induced immunity. Clarification. While natural immunity can be effective, Vaccines offer a controlled way to build immunity without experiencing the full disease's potential risks and complications. Vaccines are safer and more reliable in preventing diseases. Myth 7. Once vaccinated, there's no need for additional doses or booster shots. Clarification. Some vaccines require multiple doses or booster shots to ensure long-term protection. Booster doses are often recommended to maintain immunity against certain diseases over time. Myth 8. Vaccines can cause the disease they are designed to prevent. Clarification. Most vaccines are made with weakened or inactivated viruses, making it impossible to cause the disease. They stimulate the immune system to recognize and fight the actual virus if encountered in the future. It's essential to rely on evidence-based information from reputable sources, such as the World Health Organization, WHO, 
and the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention CDC, to make informed decisions about vaccination. Vaccines have saved countless lives and remain one of the most effective public health interventions in history. Conclusion. Adverse events following immunization AEFI, are important to understand in the context of vaccination. While some reactions may occur after receiving vaccines, they are generally mild and temporary. Vaccines undergo rigorous testing to ensure safety and efficacy, and their benefits in preventing diseases far outweigh the risks of AEFI. Severe reactions are rare, and immediate medical attention is available if needed. Reporting AEFI is crucial for continuous monitoring of vaccine safety and ensuring public health. As vaccination remains a vital tool in protecting individuals and communities from preventable diseases, it is essential to rely on evidence-based information to make informed decisions about immunization. By staying informed and dispelling myths, we can collectively promote vaccine confidence and contribute to a healthier future for everyone. Thank you all for watching. If you found this video informative, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Also, let us know in the comments if there are any other topics you'd like us to cover. Stay safe, stay informed, and we'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.